So, Clea, about 14 months ago, you left the country. Uh, would you tell me why you left and where did you go? Well, Brother George, about 14 months ago, I recognized that uh, the whole black world was heading for political chaos because we didn't have answers to our problems. And many people who thought they had answers were just getting up saying things, but they weren't saying what the solution was. And I've never been able to say something unless I was pretty sure I knew what I was talking about. I think if you say something and you don't know what you're talking about, if you're supposed to be talking for your people, you are misleading your people, you're confusing them, and you're doing a disservice to them. So since I needed to know, I thought I'd better go and study. So I went to Africa, to Guinea, at the invitation of President Ahmed Sekou Touré, who I think is one of the greatest men alive today. And I went to study there with under Osagi for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. And I studied for 14 months. While I was there, I traveled all through Africa. Egypt, Tanzania, Algeria, Congo Brazzaville, Nigeria, Liberia, uh, Gambia, Sierra Leone, the Sudan. So I got a good feeling of Africa, Senegal, and I understood a lot of the problems of our people there. So now I think I know a little bit more. So, now that you have returned after 14 months' absence, Stokely, have you discerned any improvement in the conditions that you were advocating corrections for prior to your departure? No, there are no changes. The only changes is that today the political consciousness of our people are much higher. That means that uh, they just know what's going down. Now, since their political consciousness is much higher, the question is can we give them the correct solutions to solve the problems? Now I think that the problem is we don't have an ideology, which is one set of beliefs that we all believe in that can unify us. And I think that now we've gotten some of those ideologies together so we can begin to speak about it to our people. If they agree with it, we can begin to come together. Because if we don't come together, we're going to be wiped out because this white boy is getting ready to commit genocide against us.